you can see that there's actually seven blockers including one tight end and the running back we already have one guy blocking nobody by the time the play ends and we get a sack we ultimately have two players including the running back blocking absolutely nobody for the cheapest, fastest, most reliable muck coins in the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shot. Sniff the Mad Cheese as always. Got a super glitchy bliss for you guys today, and I'm going to show it to you guys all in gameplay. This is the actual gameplay where I found this blitz. If you guys don't know, recently I've been doing a lot of plays out of the Arizona Cardinals offensive playbook, and a lot of times I'll go into a game I won't even change. I'll just pick the Cardinals, I won't even change the playbook. So I have the Cardinals offense and the Cardinals defense, and doing that, I found one of the glitchiest blitzes in the game. Other than that, if you guys want to see more defenses and more blitzes, as always, hit the like button, let me know in the comment section. Other than that, let's go and get right into the video. The formation I'm going to be working out of today is going to be the Dime Sugar Week. I love the look of this formation. It looks like it has good run fits based off the fact that you got five down linemen. That's really what makes it really glitchy when it comes to the blitzing and a pretty decent run defense. Other than that, you can use several different plays with the exact same concept. You can use the DB Blitz 1 if you like Cover 1 Man. You could also use the Cover 3 Sky. The setup's going to be the same throughout all these plays. I personally like the DB Blitz 3 Week because ultimately this is a matching Cover 3. I think matching Cover 3 is a little bit better. There is a regular cover three match though that's the exact same thing all these plays are now pretty much the exact same setup so as far as the setup goes the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to get this blitzing cornerback or safety as it is in this position this is actually buda baker one of my better players you're going to want to get him down to the line of scrimmage that's probably the most important step it's probably the only step you really have to do essentially is get this cornerback down to the line of scrimmage based off of what particular defensive package you pick so to do that all you have to do is press pressing dbs is wire triangle then down the right stick now that does actually give some issues when it comes to your coverage you can see this particular cornerback right here is down really close to the line of scrimmage it's not really gonna be an issue for him because he's ultimately going to be covering a tight end and most tight ends aren't fast enough but it could be an issue for the cornerback on the other side of the field as you guys will see quite a bit if you're pressing a lot of times especially in a deep cover cornerback like this if he does get beat off the press or if he's facing a really fast receiver a much faster receiver than him this can ultimately be a big problem you can give up a lot of big plays won't play touchdowns on things like simple strikes streaks you'll see my opponent later in the video tries that very same thing which most people will because you can see i don't really have fast cornerbacks and you can see that the receiver does get behind him. now i got lucky there that that throw was out of reach or that easily would have been a touchdown so to solve this issue it's really simple all you have to do is manually walk the cornerback back if they're in front of any receivers that's the easiest way to do it or manually set your blitzing defensive back by bringing him down by himself now the rest of his blitz is super easy you really just have to turn these hook curls into blitzing players that's about it and to do that all you have to do is blitz all linebackers that's going to be deep pad to the right and down that's going to blitz all your linebackers it's really just these two guys like i said no matter what defense you're in it's going to be the exact same setup on this particular place is very early on in the game i thought that it might be best to blitz my user and drop him back giving myself what essentially looks like a seven man blitz now this is extra you do not have to do this i'll show you as the video goes on that you do not have to do this extra step it's really just pressing and blitzing on linebackers those are probably the most important thing the last thing would be to simply guess pass which is right bumper r1 up on the right stick that will give you a much more ferocious pass rush no matter what play you're using but you'll see on this first play here i drop away and this cornerback just comes in free off the edge now this was only a five-man blocking setup so that's going to happen ultimately the running back went on a route he took the running back and then you see the cover three does a very good at shutting that down so you know we get very good coverage on the back side here that's something i'm not going to go over much but you do get very good coverage now as far as the next play goes like i said this is very early on in the game i'm i didn't know that, that i saw the cornerback get in i try a somewhat different play and i'm going to be messing around doing a couple of different setups trying to figure out how to get this blitz more consistently now in this play i messed it up because i actually moved the blitzing cornerback in you can see i tried to get back in coverage it really didn't work out but ultimately i messed that entire play up by by manually blitzing the cornerback which is something typically i would not recommend doing on the next play he calls a hurry up and you can see i get caught on the hard flat before i ever get to bring this user down to the box like i did previously but it doesn't matter as you can see on the very next play we get an instant sack even though the running back was blocking now hurts gets out of it he does he is able to get the ball off but you can see the blitz comes in free and hits the quarterback immediately you can see on the play art in the very next play this was a six-man block ultimately it's also a six-man pressure there's only six guys coming in on the blitz so it's an even blitz but we still get an instant sack as this guy just gets right around the running back who does not do a very good job of picking him up so you can see this is a very quick blitz i think this blitz works for two reasons one i think it works because of the angle that the quarterback is blitzing on but i also think it works because of the angle that the defensive 
and the defensive tackle next to him are taking. If you take a close-up look here, you can see that they're kind of stepping inside, which is what I think essentially gives the outside release to the blitzing safety every single time. This is the next play that I choose. You can see it doesn't quite have that exact same diagram. doesn't quite have the same combination of uh, the cornerback blitzing and the defensive lineman blitzing the same way that it does here. So I would just stick to the four plays that I showed you guys previously. Now, there also is an additional set of you can only send five men and still have a lot of success. These two players here I found later in the game, you could use either one of these two players and you'll still have a lot of success. I typically decided to use Simmons just because it was faster, but all you really have to do is use one of these players, press and then disengage back into coverage just like I did here. You can see Landon Dickerson is blocking absolutely nobody. If we take a wider angle view, you can see that there's actually seven blockers, including one tight end and the running back. We already have one guy blocking nobody. By the time the play ends and we get a sack, we ultimately have two players, including the running back, blocking absolutely nobody. So we had a five-man pressure on seven blockers, and we still got through to get the sack. Now, while mostly the design pressure will come from the cornerback slash blitzing safety, you'll notice that you get pressure from a lot of different areas. This package is so much speed on the field, and it really creates so much havoc. But a lot of times, you'll get pressure from the opposite defensive end. A lot of times you'll get pressure from the defensive lineman in front of you as you can see when this play ends there was four defensive linemen around the quarterback meaning that really this guy has no chance to throw the ball it's a very glitchy blitz when it comes to how these things create pressure there are a few downsides though as you can see based on the fact that we have so many blitzing guys coming over the middle there's not a lot of guys left to take away short throws so ultimately short throws will beat this defense pretty easily uh, you really have to be giant on the spot when it comes to that but that's something that you really can control based off of the fact that you're typically going to be using right over the middle so you just really have to make sure that you get back and take away these short routes as quickly as possible as you can see right here based off the fact that my opponent since i know he has to throw the ball quickly i know that the center of the field is typically what he expects to be open it's going to be easy to diagnose where he's going to go with the ball and it's going to result in a lot of interceptions and turnovers in fact this is really by design based off the fact that we get such instant pressure it really becomes easy to diagnose where the ball is going to go because your opponent has to get rid of it quickly if you can really just drop back on a lot of these routes and cut them off quickly you're going to get a lot of takeaways another way to handle these quick throws can be switching over to the db blitz one which is essentially going to cover one man pre-snap it looks just like a cover three shell you have your single high safety your opponent won't really know what's coming but ultimately if they try to hit those same quick throws that they were hitting most of the game based on the fact that typically zones don't drop back the way the man coverage does they'll be throwing a lot of interceptions as well there so make sure that you're giant on the spot switching in and out of these defenses every once in a while just to keep your opponent guessing and you'll get a lot of interceptions that way as well now as good as blitz is it really comes down to what you do as a user to be how successful it'll be you can see on this next play here the way that i draw this blocker back it looks like this center is going to immediately engage with me and it looks like the left tackle is going to immediately engage with the player in front of him as well you can see though as the second that i drop back it immediately changes the blocking assignment of every player on the field the center is blocking nobody the left tackle for whatever reason decides to step out and follow me back meaning that he's no longer blocking the defensive end in front of him letting him basically coming free you can see kelsey now is going to switch over to a double team block or try the running back is essentially going to be tasked with switching over and taking out the free defender coming in which he does but meanwhile the left tackle is blocking nobody and essentially the center is blocking nobody you can also see the cornerback slash safety coming in free with nobody blocking him at all as he easily finishes the play and gets another sack so this is a very glitchy blitz it's a very good coverage it's a very good pass defense i'm gonna go ahead and end the video there though if you guys want to see more videos like this more defensive plays out of the cardinals just more blitzes and defenses in general hit the like button let me know in the comment section other than that thanks for watching man my shit out need more help or just want to show your support then head over to my patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my vids and more link in the description below